whenever you upgrade the power on something and put giant wheels and tires on it, you have to make sure your drivetrain matches the toughness of the motor. And last time mine did not. I had stock slash 4x4 drivetrain. It did not go too well. I stripped the rear differential. So now I put in the Traxxas splined rear differential and it should hold up to more abuse. And also I put in a center differential with the stock fluid, which is totally fine for a truck this light. It's 100K weight. I don't want it to lock up too much because then <laughs> it's still wheelies. And it's wet. It's really wet out here and it's still wheelies. This is an ultimate test of the Proline Badlands to see if they really do have the most grip ever. This thing's fast. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these tires are nuts. Oh, and I also geared it down from a 20 tooth to a 17 tooth, so it shouldn't overheat anymore. Oh. It has so much grip. I don't know how I'm still pulling wheelies on asphalt, wet asphalt. <laughs> this is oh, from all the way over there it spat that in my face that was full throttle right there it's madness Let's see if that center diff works yep oh. <laughs> yep it works so hopefully that is the drivetrain issue solved for good. <laughs> I'm gonna get the GTR shock soon. I'm still running stock ultra shocks with metal shock caps. They still seem to be all right, but they do bend. There we go. This is much better. If you go success, you definitely gotta get rear differential upgrade and a center diff. The front diff doesn't matter too much because there's not as much power going to the front and there's not enough grip going to the front for it to really truly matter. And hopefully that center diff's doing its job. If it goes through this entire bash without making any funny sounds or screwing up, I'm good. Oh no. I wasn't even full throttle. <laughs> Brakes are a little bit sloppy on this thing. You can only put them up to 50% on the Arma speed controller. I wish you could make it higher because they definitely need it. Because a full brake isn't doing too much. The sway bars are obsolete now because <laughs> it's just too big wheels and tires. Very nice. This thing is balanced left and right pretty well. Whoa! Oh, it got me all the way back here. Ugh. It's still good. That center diff seems to be doing its job. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, I really hope I got that on camera. That was a double. That was awesome. Oh. <laughs> no, please. Oh, I just self it. Are you kidding me? This is this is actually really fun. This is like the ultimate slash for watch war configuration. Okay. okay. Are you, you gotta be joking me? I keep missing this.
when you get the center divot, it feels very stiff. But now it loosened up a little bit as you use it, which is probably to be expected. Ah, there we go. This is gonna be really fun to wash off. Oh, jeez. Uh oh, broke something. Oh, yeah, a shock is literally snapped in half. Uh, um, okay. Uh, oh, there's the spring. Um, there's no shock rod. Stuff in the front's fine. I knew I should have gotten those stupid GTR shocks. Dang it, I was at the hobby shop. They had the color I wanted for the rear, but not for the front, so I just decided not to get them. Dang it. Uh, and also, it didn't come with any springs or anything, and I don't think they had any, so I don't know. I'll go put a new shock on. I got a rustler. I got some rustler shocks in one of those packages. That it should work. So I just put one of my rustler shocks on it. One of the long rear rustler shocks that I just had laying around. And it seems to have fixed it. So far, the rear differential and center diff are making a difference. And it's not really messing with how it drives too much. If anything, it's the tires messing with how it's drive. Little pro tip from a not pro RCer. If your body cracks, you can just drill holes in it and put zip ties in it and back to good after that. I wonder if I got any more torque with that 17 tooth. Uh, not really. If you're looking for a pinion that really holds up the stuff, get a Robinson Racing. They are definitely the best. It's like zero grip at all. There's too many leaves. I'm full throttling and it's not going anywhere. Oh my God. Maybe it's that center diff, but I don't think so. Definitely not the center diff. I don't know if that center diff is making the rear lose any power, but I don't think it is. It's probably just the leaves. Like that's a lot of leaves. And also if these tires don't have anything to bite into, they're not a very sticky compound. So they don't exactly go very far. On the dirt, there's basically just this top layer that's all loose. And then right below that, it's pretty solid. Whoa, my gosh. Oh no. That was a lot of power transfer. All five or six pounds of slash slam directly into that wood. Ouch. Oh crud. That front bumper ripped out one time and it split the plastic. So I just put some super glue on it last night where it split and then just chucked it in, put the screws back in. Uh, I think we're either out of battery or overheated. I just remember when this Arma system runs out of battery, it does the low power and it goes slow. There we go. And now it just ran all the way out. But when it cuts out because it's too hot, it just stops and you can't move it at all. So this lost all its battery. So guys, that was definitely a successful upgrade. This is what you got to do to make the ultimate success slash basher best bash i've had so far with these proline badlands on <laughs> they hit the body and everything but they are really good center diff could use a little bit more fluid but i don't want to have the chance to blow out a 40 dollar rear differential gear hope you like this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe see you guys later bye